Welcome back everybody. What? Welcome back everybody. We are back today on this amazing Minecraft part of the series. Now today we are covering a situation that happens every now and then. You're like, I can't do anything with this world. I mean, seriously, what am I going to do with the world that has nothing to it? Well, I want to tell you. If it has mostly water, it's it's still doable. Because for some reason, in mostly water worlds, you'll find more lava. I noticed this myself. It's this thing I noticed on every pocket edition I played. Every every time I played a PC or anything or PlayStation or so on, if a world had mostly water, it was bound to have lava. In most every island. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to make my own lava real quick. Okay. So what you're going to need is, and then you're going to have to get iron too, but still, okay. So we're going to start off by going all the way to the bottom, and we're just going to build our tower. The lava will do all the work for you. That's the nice part. Oops. I guess that will work. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a little bit different than what I wanted, but okay. Okay, we're gonna place this there, this there, this there, and this there. Just wanna double check. I just wanna see how far this will reach out if I did like this. <laughs> the same shape. Okay. That's the center. Okay. So now you have your little platform. Well, in your situation, you're going to want a bigger platform. You're going to be questioning, why do I want a bigger platform? Well. Well, your platform is actually going to be saving your life. must do as much as you can for your platform. Because if you look at it, it's going to be able to help you a lot. You're not going to realize this because, yes, but it will. This one's going to actually, I'm going to show you how to build the farm for this and everything because I would prefer you guys to build the farm at how I will. And there we go. So now we have a big old X marks the spot. So let's pull out the map. I never did map this out, so let's see what happens if we map it out right here. Let's fly away from it. There's a little weird speck on the map now. Ooh, what could that be? It's X marks the spot. Okay, so the next step is you're gonna need grass. Any type of grass will work, to be honest. It's just grass. Wait, yes, Jack on. Yeah, that's correct. I was like, wait, what did something go wrong? No, nothing went wrong, Johnny. Nothing went wrong at all. Okay. 
Now this is one of the more complicated houses I will teach you guys. Because this is kind of for one of those advanced players if you're not creative. Because you gotta know how to swim to the bottom of the ocean. And then hurry up and get back to the top. And then swim down and get back to the top. Swim down and get back to the top. Now this pillar will never go away. Until you decide to make a mine shaft like I did once. It goes straight down into the water. Alright. Now you're gonna be questioning, why is he leaving the why is he leaving holes right there? <coughs> well that's a good answer. I have a good answer for that. It's because I want. So you it's like you're sick and tired of <coughs> swimming to each island. Because you keep swimming, sailing, however you want to do this. You just want to settle down on your nice home. So we're going to do that. Okay. Then we're going to play Let's say you've been living out here for quite some time. You've been living out here long enough. You're like, I got iron floors. The wall might not look pretty. It might not be a big home. But I have iron floors. The nice part about this little setup is is that you don't even need to worry about anything really, to be honest. This is more for those who like to um, mine. So it's kind of like an oil rig system. We need to Steps. Small house. I mean, legit, it's a small house. You're not going to get too much bigger. You might have some ceiling space if you're lucky. But the main pride of this island is your... It's pretty much the whole entire thing is your home. Legit, it's your home. <laughs> so like I said, th you've been living out here for a while. You've been living out here long enough. You have redstones out of your butts galore. You have everything you could possibly want. Daylight sensor and everything is coming together. Your friends are all questioning your logic on how you managed to do this. They don't understand what you're doing. Because you just defied their logic from Minecraft for, that they were taught when they learned from their YouTubers. You just destroyed their hopes and dreams and you're going to rub it in their face. That you are a prodigy and they are not. Now let's put a wooden floor panel outside. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Technically, I don't want to do wooden. I don't want to even do floor panels. Why? Because it's a small house. <laughs> I mean, it's going to take up more space than you want it to. You might as well let it be. Okay, so. This 
this is now where we get to the point where we gotta install all your gear that you need. There you go. So all this will actually fit in here surprisingly. It's a bed here or however you want to do this. This goes there. Crafting table. Furnaces. And there you go. Now that's just a small room. Or we could do this. And you place your crafting table in here. You place one furnace in here. There you go. You got your nice little room filled with this. But then you also have these arrows. So each arrow you could easily like build like a wall around out of furnaces. Place your anvil outside of like to the side of your house. Place a chest. I mean, every now and then you want to place chests like if you want your garden to have. You want to be able to put stuff around your house? Go for it. Okay, right there. Now you want to see some fight like that. Oh no, I ruined the water. Why is there water there? Eh, it looks nice. Okay, now I did tell you guys I was going to show you guys how the what else is going to be added to this. Because it's a little bit more of a more advanced setup. It's not a pro setup, so anybody can do this. So we're going to do what? Melons, beetroots, and... Let's do sugar cane. Okay. This should all be watered down. There. So now we have one. The melons will be kind of different. Considering it's a melon seed, so we got what? We do this right, it'll be one melon here. One melon there. Do like melons across this. Oops. There. Yeah, about like that. Yeah, about so many melons you come over here and you plant your hurricane like so and that's how you get your nice little home now the arrows you can put anything on them if you want to build like another extension to your house like a small one you just go out a little bit you count out how many like squares it was for original your like original drop down which would be like about here or right where the door is at then you just base it off of that and then that's how many you guys like, like kind of move out to and then drop and go but this is a nice little home and heck at this point, you also have beacons set up. So, just a beacon. There. 
That's like really cool. As you go like this. Second one. You don't need too much squares technically. Just need to do like a big square and then there you go. And this is to be that person that's like I overexceeded at life. put down what let's do red blue let's do red and blue red because when you're on sea you want to be able to find your home the bigger the beacon the better If you don't know where your home is, or if your home is in the middle of like this little water chain, you don't know. So let's do a quick, let's do a quick view of this nice home. It's very beautiful, isn't it? You call it the X home or the compass home, whatever you want to call it. Now for the final test. Oh, for the sake of this, we're going to remove the iron door because we put villagers in each one of these houses. We don't want our villager being stuck inside, do we? Well, yeah, that would be funny. But we're not going to do that. Now, okay. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Average Joe. Welcome to your home, Average Joe. Yeah. yeah, I guess you would like this because you're pretty average. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Uh -huh. I thought John was bad, but you, Average Joe, you're the worst. I got my eyes uh -huh. on you. So yeah, Average Joe must like this home that he stole. Uh -huh. Now, instead of just playing crops, you can actually plant trees. If you want to, like, surround the whole entire thing with grass, you can plant your trees on the ends. And you can always harvest trees. You, This is like a never-ending supply right here. Yeah, eventually you would run out of iron and lava. Eventually, probably not. Because if you click, like, one bucket of lava, you just pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it. As long as you don't kill it. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you like this series and we'll keep it up and running. Please leave a comment on the house that you would like to see in the future. Remember, I'm actually recording, I record a whole bunch of these at once. So your video won't, I won't have a response to it yet. Yeah. I'll try to respond to him. Huh. This is actually the last pre-recorded video I'm making right now. Huh. So after when this video uploads, I will be reading all the comments and I will be answering them all. And I'll be trying to upload huh. as I record. If I'm busy, I will try to upload and do like a spree of these, okay? Huh. So yeah, I hope you all like this. Huh. And we'll see you all next time. Peace out.